What's going on, folks? Stone Chef 710 coming at you. Not live, because service here sucks. So we're doing a video. Today is the big day. Been waiting for it, and it's here. Today is the day. I'm leaving to go up to my land. As you can see, uh, all right, I can't turn it around. As you can see, I got my van ready, right? Got fresh tires, got good tread all the way around. I've done a little bit of detailing, if you've noticed. Added some red accents. Red's not my favorite color, but fuck it. Why not? Now, let's take a look on the inside. If you see here, I have my cooler, my clothes basket, and, and my toolbox drawers with my tools, got my propane, got my water tanks, those are full of water, and then I have everything else that I own, my cot, my table, all my supplies, my uh, cooking utensils and pots, um, everything, and uh, right here is where I'm actually going to be making uh, Landry's pallet, I'm going to take my chairs, Stand them up, throw them over there, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the fuck out of Dodge today is what I'm gonna do. Now, I'll say, I've been waiting a long time to do this, and I don't just mean, you know, since I got this property. No, I've been, I've been wanting to go get the fuck away from everybody and just start over for a long time you know being out here in in the world with all these fucking people uh it's it's been killing me you know uh too many people take advantage of a good natured person like myself uh and then they want to blame you when they fuck up um, and those are, those are poisonous people. Those are not people you should ever associate with or attempt to continue, uh, any kind of a friendship or anything with, because, again, they're poisonous. They're gonna take, they're gonna take, they're gonna take. And when they can't take anymore, they're gonna call you names and talk all kinds of shit. And they're going to talk shit to everybody they know about you. But I promise you, they'll never, ever bring up all the times I let shit slide. So, if you're in that situation, let go of it. You feel me? But, I'm moving on. Like I said, I got everything I own right here in this van. 286 square foot back here in the cargo area. I got uh, over 300 square foot in this whole van. So I got more than enough room for all my shit. And uh, we're making a move. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, It's going to be a new experience. And yes, there's going to be issues. Yes, there's going to be troubles. There's going to be problems. There's going to be adversities I'm going to have to overcome. But that's all part of being country boy. It's having that resilience. That's what makes us Texans separate from everybody else. We overcome adversity. We don't let shit hold us back. 
that. Understand? Um, I'm probably going to end up having my hair grow because, you know, shaving your head all the time. Uh, especially when nobody else is seeing you. Um, you know, don't have to keep up appearances with anybody. Um, yeah, you know, I can always cut my hair and uh, shave it at any time. So, we'll, uh, we'll just kind of go with it, you know. But I also decided I'm not going to switch my YouTube channel. I'm going to leave all my videos on here. But I'm also going to start a new direction. Which is my journey from here to my property in Alturas. And... trip to my property in Alturas. Um, you know, I'm going to look at the land uh, and I'm going to film different things. Um, you know, I've got some video editing software that I can use. Um, I'm just going to run with it, you know. Um, you never know what you can make. never know what's going to come out of it. And who knows? Maybe I can teach people something. Maybe get a few checks from YouTube. You know, people send, seem to like to watch the videos uh, that are similar to what I'm going to be posting. So, you know, let's hope for the best. Plan for the worst. You know, if all else fails, I'll still have fun doing it, even if I don't get all the subscribers or the likes or the views you know I've never lived my life according to that that's not why I do anything I don't do anything in my entire life to, to please other people it's if you got an opinion of me that you think I'm one thing or another I can give shit less your opinion means fuck all to me It's the only way I've been able to protect myself through the years. So, you know, I'm going to keep on, keep on pushing on. You know, I'm going to be heading out at about 6.30 tonight. Um, today's April 3rd. So, I'm going to get to it. Um, still got some final things I got to throw in here. And, uh, yeah, and then it's off to possibly never see San Diego ever again. Who knows? I don't. But I'm going to turn this investment into 50 or 100 grand. Somebody's going to want it. And somebody's going to pay money for it because they're going to have it. So, I'm going to have fun. I hope you all take care. Um, yeah, all my viewers, all my, all my subscribers... I want to thank you for all your support up to this point. Uh, without you, um, you know, I wouldn't have anybody to talk to. I'd just be some asshole talking to a fucking camera. <laughs> but, as always, keep your head up and stay stoned, folks. Peace.